Hi everyone, it's uh, Jared with Thrive Lawn Solutions. Um, I wanted to shoot a quick video today. I always say they're going to be quick, but they tend to go longer than I want. Um, I wanted to talk quickly today about pesticide warning flags. Um, I see often uh, people walking down the street um, completely disregarding the warning flag that's in the yard. Um, there's a lot of information on those flags that is really useful to people who um, are walking down the street or uh, are stopped at a bus stop to get their kids from school or letting their dogs wander on a lawn that's recently been sprayed. Um, we, a lot of people I don't feel understand or know what to look for on a pesticide marking flag. And uh, so I wanted to show you some of ours and um, just tell you what information you can look for. A really quick story, um, just the other day I was driving down the road and a lady um, was walking her two dogs down the sidewalk and they um, got to a yard that had marking flags um, showing that something had been sprayed there at some point in time um, at both the entrances at, to the property and uh, this lady was just walking down the sidewalk. Her two dogs were walking all over that lawn. Um, she had no idea whether that lawn had been sprayed um, an hour ago or whether it was three months ago um, and the customer hadn't pulled the flag up. But um, there's a lot of dangers with not watching for them, not knowing what they mean, um, not looking at them, um, or just crossing the street to get away from a lawn that has been recently sprayed. So um, just a quick info video here. This is our pesticide marking flag. Um, at the top it says warning pesticides applied. Um, legally in Colorado we are supposed to mark the entrances to the property. Um, we'll often stick one in the backyards too after we've sprayed just to make sure people have um, before they let their dog out that they see that and remember um, that we were there. Um, all of our flags have this little picture on it of the family with the dog on the lawn um, and the line through it saying, uh, basically saying keep off the lawn. Um, all of our flags too have a re-entry period. So on the on, right here next to my index finger it says re-enter after one hour or until dry. Um, meaning that you need to stay off the lawn one hour or until the lawn has dried um, before you re-enter that lawn. Um, and then all these flags have our business name, um, the qualified supervisor, which is the state's um, method of, of qualifying us to spray legally, um, and, and the business phone number so you can get more information on that pesticide if you need to. Um, and then on the back of each flag, we write... Um, a few different things. We write what herbicide has been sprayed. Sorry, this is one-handed. Um, we write what herbicide has been sprayed. I just wrote herbicide XYZ on here um, as an example, but we write the, the product name. Um, we write the date that we sprayed it, and we write the time that it was sprayed because none of the information on the re-entry period in the front matters if you don't have a reference point for when this product was applied. So um, just something to know, something to look for as you're walking down the street. Um, if you see these marking flags, uh, don't let your dogs on those lawns unless you're willing to go read what was on that flag and um, try to um, determine whether that lawn is a safe place to enter, both for you, your pets, your kids, um, anyone involved. So I uh, hope this was informative and helpful for you. Thanks.